Welcome back to Sailor.org's Interviewing Skills. In Unit 1 of this course, you learned what the experts have to say about preparing for the interview. You now know there are various phases to the interview process and that each stage plays a major role in your overriding goal of getting a job offer. It is important to learn all you can about a potential employer before the interview to rehearse your responses to often asked yet challenging questions, and to follow up after the interview with another sales tool, the thank you letter. You have learned that the way you dress for an interview goes a long way toward creating a lasting impression for the employer. In mastering the interview, you learn the difference between competency-based and behavior-based interviews, as well as critical factors to success in the interview. Finally, Trusty Guide's Deborah Wolf provided you with an interview checklist and job interviewing quiz to help you prepare for a successful interview. In this unit, titled During the Interview, you will learn to prepare for different types of job interviews. The Connecticut Department of Labor article, The Interview Process, discusses the behavioral interview. In this type of interview, you will need to respond to open-ended questions that relate to your knowledge and skills. Case interview questions will test your ability to answer hypothetical questions by creating assumptions and forming possible conclusions from those assumptions. In Career One Stop's article, Job Interviews, you will learn about other types of interviews, including phone screening, selection, work sample, peer group, group or panel, luncheon, stress, video conference interviews. Each of these interview types will have unique demands and challenges. Success, for example, may rely on your ability to communicate clearly and in a friendly manner on the telephone. You may need to concentrate on your table manners during a luncheon or dinner interview. No matter where or in what setting the interview takes place, the common factor is that each interviewer will be observing you closely, and you have only one chance to wow them. This unit offers resources that contain many examples of interview questions, including college grads' fifth standard entry-level interview questions. The authors recommend formulating possible responses to these questions and rehearsing your script as much as you would for any performance. The more you repeat responses, perhaps in front of a mirror or a trusted friend, the more relaxed and confident you will appear when you are sitting across from the interviewer. Read college grads' candidate interview questions to learn the top five questions to ask in each type of interview. Your objective is twofold. You will gain relevant information, and you will demonstrate your enthusiasm for the opportunity. If you follow the advice offered by experts in their fields in this unit, you may find that the next discussion with an employer centers upon salary requirements. Perhaps you have received an offer or are hoping for one. In either case, the next unit, Unit 3, Negotiating Compensation, will offer helpful resources to prepare for salary discussions and to negotiate salary and job perks. I'll see you when you reach Unit 3 and are ready to explore compensation issues.